I don't like Andrew Tate. Mungkin ada daripada korang akan rasa yang sebab aku buat konten banyak around me pushing the idea of what an ideal man is which is also apa yang Andrew Tate is also pushing tapi from his own point of view but honestly man I don't like Andrew Tate. Aku tak suka dia. And I don't usually say that because I generally like everyone sebab aku ni kaki husnuzon sikit. I'm not saying he's entirely bad because the truth is nobody knows but him and we're not fucking mind readers here but to people yang dah biasa belajar about human behavior and psychology I think civilized people will agree that something about his vibe is very off. To me, I see a very big boy, not a man. Sebab apa? Sebab the things that he says are usually truthful, tapi it's wrapped in subtle lies, if korang perasan. This is a man yang imply that he is the ideal man, yet he flaunts his wealth and power as if he's trying to compensate for something. Tahu tak compensating tu apa? It's like, bila kau cakap ke orang yang konek kau besar that you have a really big penis when in truth kau tahu yang you have a very small dick I mean it's we're, we're all Asians here tak ada nak malu pun if our average dick size is smaller compared to the rest of the world but you get what I'm trying to say right Andrew fucking Tate does not feel like a genuine person aku ada cakap awal tadi that I don't think he's entirely bad Ambil yang jenis, buang yang keruh lah macam tu. Aku ni jenis manusia yang, like I said, husnuzon. Jenis yang bersangka baik dengan orang. But ilmu yang aku dah simpan, especially about belajar human behavior, tells me that dia ni jernih dia ada, tapi keruhnya banyak. And I am also a very logical person. And this tells me that I should agree with my brain yang logical compared to hati aku yang cuba nak husnuzon. Which is also why I could decide to make this video. Sebab I saw this one video where si Andrew Tate ni dia imply yang lelaki masculine tak boleh nangis and feel stuff. Sebab it's a loser behavior which is something yang aku totally disagree with. I think lelaki patut menangis bila perlu. I'm not saying kau kena nangis je but not do anything lepas tu. I'm saying lepas kau menangis tu you get up and reset do better but embrace your emotions validate perasaan kau sendiri because you know what kau lelaki but first of all kau manusia yang ada cacat cela yang buat mistake yang nak belajar dari mistake tu and kena rasa a feeling of regret and sadness to realize how much you fucked up untuk sedar how much you need to change and usually that process of realization tu involves a chemically infused reaction dalam otak kau that results in you being sad which leads to you crying which is something that you shouldn't be ashamed of because you're just that a human being which is made up of emotions why shouldn't you cry man Just fucking cry. Aku ada bro, aku support kau. If orang lain tak nak dengar cakap kau, aku ada. I'm here for you bros. I'm fucking here for you. What solidified my assumption that Andrew Tate is an insecure person is bila dia triggered dengan tweet Greta Thunberg that sarcastically says that he exudes small PP energy, which I agree with. And he replied with a video that subsequently led to his arrest, which is a great joke made by the universe in my opinion. Sebab apa? Sebab he fulfilled exactly four characteristics of a person yang not genuinely good in this interaction. Overcompensation, overaggressiveness, a desire to want to look infallible, not nampak perfect, and a manipulative persona. Macam yang aku cakap tadi lah. Overcompensate is bila kau nak one up everyone Nak bagi kau nampak lebih sikit dari orang lain To make up for benda yang kau tak ada Dalam contoh asal tadi Bagi tahu orang connect kau besar When in reality connect kau kecil Over aggressiveness pula Contohnya kau boleh nampak dekat Hitler Tengok cara dia bercakap Macam nak marah orang kan I mean I know kau nak naikkan semangat orang Tapi bila kau bercakap in that tone While screaming about trying to destroy something else That is over aggressive He also nak nampak perfect, tak nak nampak dekat public yang kau bermasalah. And lastly, he's good at manipulating people. In this one interaction dengan Greta Thunberg, he showed that he is insecure, 
tak nak nampak macam salah apa sebab orang dah gelak kat dia and he overcompensated by replying a tweet with a video talks in a very aggressive way and did so because tak nak orang nampak dia macam buat salah when he has the obvious route of just rolling with it which will actually make me respect him more like i said in an older video and likely some people will really like actually some people does not want to look like a little bitch but to not look like a little bitch they do things that makes them look like a little bitch and what about the part yang manipulative too well look at you guys fanboying over this man child honestly benda yang aku paling sedih is bila banyak orang kita yang support and retweet like you guys are not seeing the bigger picture trust me sure he was in the podcast where dia puji islam sure he kept on tweeting i got on but friends korang sangat mudah dibeli ke this is the same guy yang cakap his woman is his property This is also the man yang cakap about not being violent yet. You can feel that he is a very violent person. So now kalau tengok video ni, what have we learned from Andrew fucking Tate? Jangan overcompensate. Konek kau kecil, you don't have to tell everyone that you have a big dick, but I'm also not telling you to bagi tahu the whole world that konek kau kecil. No. What you should just do is just accept it the way it is. Embrace the truth. Do not overcompensate. Sebab orang yang pandai, dia tahu bila kau overcompensate. Which tells them that you really do have a small dick. Second, don't be overly aggressive. Specifically untuk lelaki, I will tell you this. Aku percaya lelaki memang patut jadi bahaya. Tapi sebagai lelaki, kau nak jadi bahaya, kena ada disiplin juga. Disiplin tu untuk apa? Untuk tak jadi bahaya. Apa yang aku cuba nak sampaikan. Orang yang pandai fighting, martial artis ke, MMA fighter ke, they are very dangerous people. They should also have the discipline untuk menahan dari menggunakan that power yang dia ada. So what's the point? Kau jadi bahaya tapi at the same time tak bahaya. Sebab tugas lelaki adalah melindungi orang lain. We protect each other. We protect our family. We protect our women. We protect our children. We protect other good men be the danger but bila that power tak diperlukan be as soft as possible be a good husband for your wife be a good father who shows fatherly love to your apa, daughter be a father a son can wish to be in the future be a man who does not shame other men when they need to cry ketiga kau tak perlu nampak sempurna sebab semua orang tahu satu paradox yang tak ada orang akan petikai Practice makes perfect, but no one is perfect. Sebab apa? Sebab true perfection has to be imperfect. In the real world, tak macam dalam movie atau anime, if you're perfect, people will not like you juga. Sebab you're too good to be true. It's impossible to be that perfect. And bila sesuatu itu mustahil, orang tak percaya. So, jangan malu buat silap. Buat salah tu bukti kau manusia. And what makes humanity so beautiful to me is the fact that our flaws is exactly the thing that makes us so complicated and yet so genuine. <laughs> oh damn, I could just not check out about how I could that's okay and retweet. But yeah, look at me now. We're far out of nowhere. Well, I guess that's it. I hope I will see you guys again some other time. Until then, bye. <laughs>